Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming an empties video. I just finished filming the makeup for this look. It's a trying new makeup. However, I wanted to get up another video before only because those take me forever to edit. Those are my longest videos <laughs> to do because I put so much into them. If you haven't been watching me lately, I am in a new setup. I'm filming with natural light, something I wanted to do moving forward in the new year. My goal is natural and peaceful. So hopefully this background gives you peace. It gives me peace. I will be showing you guys a room tour once it's completed. Right now I still have stuff on the floor. I haven't found a pot for my plant. We're under construction in this room right now, but I did want to continue filming even though things are still chaos around me. You can't see it, but it's chaos <laughs> around me. We're doing our empties video. Today, I have a ton of products here because I did downsize my collection quite a bit. You'll see that in my room tour as well, that I have a much smaller space for makeup now. A lot of changes for me going into this year. And for my empties, I want to continue that obviously because it's important for me to use a product, also let you know whether I'd repurchase it, if it worked out, didn't, all that good stuff. So we have a full bin here to share with you. I cannot wait to go through. I am gonna take a couple moments to organize this and I'll be back to share with you all the empties that I've accumulated since my last empties video. And if you're wondering, I do have a whole patch of eczema running down my neck. Winter fun. Anyone else get that? Cause I do, unfortunately. Oh, it's so dry. The sun has been coming and going today. We're a little on the darker side I feel, but it still looks really good, really crisp and clean. So what I'm going for, told you I was organizing this and I'm still chatting with you. <laughs> I'm just super chatty today. I just wanna talk to you guys. Okay, I'll get back to organizing, I'll be back. As normal, I'm gonna be starting with makeup. Even though I have more skincare than anything, skincare I use twice a day, so it makes sense to have more of that than using up makeup. It takes a little bit more for me to use up some makeup, but we're gonna start off with one of the products that I used up, which happens to be my favorite foundation. If you watched my top 10 foundations, this is my number one, and it's the Too Faced Born This Way 24 Hour Undetectable Super Long Wear Foundation. It is all those things. It is the best. If you wanna see my reasoning for this, go check out that video. It is so good. When I have a self tan, I have the shade Golden. This obviously is a little bit too dark for me, but when I have a tan, this is literally the most perfect match of a foundation I've ever found before in my life. It is so good. So this is oil-free, oil-controlling, waterproof, transfer-resistant. You want your product to not go anywhere, reach for this. This is the best of the best. I love it. I've gone through many of these and obviously went through one recently to show you my favorite foundation ever. I also used up my favorite brow gel ever. This is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. I always have this on hand. It's the best formula in terms of its thinness. It doesn't leave any residue. Also the brush for this is what sets it apart from other ones. There's other ones with a similar formula like the Rare Beauty I find kind of similar, which is recent. This one has a better brush though because you can really laminate your brows if that's what you're going for. Lock them down, stick them down, and I love how you can comb them out with this brush too. It's such a good brush. Best brow gel still out there. One brow pencil that I used up. I'm surprised I didn't use up more since my last empties video. This is the Patrick Ta one in medium brown. This is the best match for me currently to my hair color. I don't have any right now, so I do need to pick up another one. I love this for the color of it. It is so good. The formula is good too, but I'd rather not spend this much all the time on a brow pencil. I do still have my NYX micro brow I use all the time. I'm wearing that in my brows today and it's still good, but it's not as good as this color for me. It's the perfect color for me. I also had a brand new Velour lash glue and there was absolutely nothing inside this when I received it. It was so strange. I don't know what happened there, but it was completely empty when I got that. This is my favorite lash glue, but something happened there. So I just wanted to mention that because it did happen to me. <laughs> then we have the Esquito Lashes Companion Eyelash Glue. This has, I think, one less ingredient than the Velour one, and I'm super sensitive to lash glue. So I'm either using the Velour, and then my friend Jasmine got me hooked on this one, but it was currently out of stock, so I haven't repurchased it. I need to go check because I have it in a little bit, but it is from Esquito. It's the best, I love it. If you have sensitive eyes like me, check out this one or the Velour. Velour is always in stock, 
the Esquito one. I feel like it goes out of stock because it is one of those hidden gems. If you're looking for a really good glue for sensitive eyes, look no further than the Esquito. One mascara I used up is the Rare Beauty. It's another staple in my collection. I love it. Just the black version. I hope they come out with a brown. It's just a really good staple one that makes my lashes look good. It has that natural bristle one that I typically go for. It's slightly curved. It's not as obvious as an hourglass shape, but still has a nice curve to it. And I just get a ton of volume from this. It's always a go-to one. I've repurchased this also multiple times. And then I was clearing out my collection and I have this lit clearly liquid glitter base that is just all gunky and gross that I wanted to toss. I love this for my lit glitters, but I honestly don't wear glitter that often. I don't feel like I need to hold on to this. And then another thing I noticed that I had used up that was in my collection was this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Freebase. It's the white one. And I'd always use this if I really wanted my looks to stand out, if I was doing colorful looks or anything like that. I loved a white base. I no longer use bases like this for my eyes. I just use my concealer. So it's unneeded for me and it's also empty, but I liked it at the time. If you're looking for something that's really gonna make your eyeshadow pop. Then I have my little mini of my Clarins Lip Comfort Oil in four, which I used up. I already purchased the full size. This smells the best of any lip oil. It is so good. So check it out just for the smell <laughs> and report back to me. But the formula itself, super comfortable one in the name, but also has that glossy look. I just love it for the shine it gives and also obviously the smell. And the color, how could I forget the color? Number four is the best color that they have. Then I was also clearing out my powders and I used to use this all the time, but these need to go. They're hard pan and they're old. They're from Maybelline. They're the super stay full coverage up to 16 hour wear powder foundation. They recently did a 24 hour one, which I don't think I've tried it yet. I'll have to go back and check. I couldn't find it in my collection, so I don't think I picked it up, even though it was on my list to pick up, but yeah. These I'm just going to toss. They've hard panned and they're old, but I loved these at the time. I'd always use this if I wanted to add coverage to my makeup and also lock it down. I went swimming with this powder foundation and it stayed on. My friends are like, what are you wearing on your skin? Because your makeup has not moved. And I was underwater. This is what I was wearing. It is so good. So hopefully the 24 hour one is just as good as this. Then a ton of lashes. I'm just gonna go through these so quickly. Most of them are Ardell or Kiss. I have a plant fiber lash from Velour, which is in Stargazing. You can't see these, so this is unfortunate. This one you could. The Kiss Ruffle, I don't use lashes this intense anymore, but I love these when I was looking for an intense eyelash. They were viral for a little bit. And then this collection was really nice. It's the So Wispy collection from Kiss. I would always repurchase this as well. I love a wispy lash and it contains their best sellers in here. Then we have the Kiss Lash Couture Foam Mink curated collection. Also really good if you like that foam mink look, that layered look, super wispy. I love the collection in here as well. Then we have the Ardell Magnetic Lashes. I messed these up because I cut them. So I have to toss these because it was my error in doing so. I need to try those again though and actually do it correctly. Then I have the Naked Lashes from Ardell and they had the 420, 421, and 422. I fell in love with these style of lashes. They're so, so good, repurchasable for sure. And then one more from Velour, which is in this style Soulmate and it's their Effortless Lashes, which you can use these up to, I think 20 times these ones. I can see all the lashes falling off in this pair. So those needed to go. Skincare, including body. This took me forever to use and I've been waiting to bust out my number 40 and use that because I love that smell. This is the original one, but it's in the huge tub. This lasted forever and ever. It is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Gel Cream and it's the original scent that they came out with, which is still amazing, still delicious. I just, I love 40 so much that I'm just excited to use something else because this was a long time to use. I don't even know how long. It took me forever to go through. You wanna hear about skincare that sucked? 
These are makeup removing wipes and I did not use these on my face. I strictly bought them to use to wipe off swatches while I'm filming. I need something pre-moistened and convenient for filming and swatches just so I don't get it all over my clothing, my chairs, my furniture, all that. I need to wipe it away. So these ones really were awful. Probably the worst wipes I've ever used in my life. They're from Equate and they're cleansing and makeup removing wipes. They just do not remove without making my skin raw. I like that it's made with 100% plant-based fibers for all skin types. They do have saturation to them, so they're not dry by any means. The formula, whatever they use, just did not work. At least for my needs, it didn't work. And it smelled like a toilet, like a clean toilet, mind you, but the chemicals they use in porta potties that's what they smell like. Like, I don't wanna put that on my body. I do not recommend and would not repurchase. We have some good and some not good skincare to go over in this section. We're gonna start off with the best of the best. One of my favorite things I've ever discovered in terms of skincare, it's the Lancome Regenery HCF Triple Serum. It has hyaluronic acid, C plus niacinamide, and ferulic acid. It is incredible. It comes in three different chambers, so it all mixes together when you pump it out, and you get it all at once. It's the only serum I feel like I need. It is so good. It changed my skin in terms of texture, tone, brightness, evenness, everything. Like This is my all-in-one serum, and I noticed from the moment that I started using this, a change in my skin. It is one of the best things I've ever introduced to my skincare, if not the best. It is pricey, I have repurchased it. I love it. I do not recommend things of this price unless I love it. It is a need in my routine. I cannot go without this. I notice a difference in my skin. And I've since started incorporating the eye cream and the moisturizer, and wow. My skin loves it. There's something about this line that my skin eats up and absolutely loves. I need to start putting it on my neck. <laughs> we need some eczema treatment over here. <laughs> what can help with that? Any recs for eczema? Please let me know. I really enjoyed this sunscreen. However, I have one that I like more. My favorite one is the one from Beauty of Josen, and I will link that one below as well. This one I used after because of a friend's recommendation. She said she liked it more, and she has more of an oily skin type. I'm normal leaning dry, and I did feel like this gave that glow to my skin, which I'm looking for, but I feel like it had maybe a little too much hyaluronic acid in it for my skin because I felt like I was getting a little bit sensitive to it and it's from Isntree. It is the Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel, SPF 50 plus. You can get this on Style Vana. I believe this one as well. She picked this one up for me, but I personally wouldn't repurchase this one. I still much prefer my Beauty of Josen one, only because I felt like I was developing some sort of sensitivity to the hyaluronic acid. So I personally would pass on this. If you're looking for good sunscreen, Korean sunscreen, the way to go. That changed my life, <laughs> Korean sunscreen. And then I used up the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser. I love this cleanser. It was really good, nice and thick too. I felt like this did a good job at removing any excess makeup, my cleansing balm or oil didn't remove when I did a two-step cleansing. I would repurchase this again. I love that it's a glass packaging. You can buy the refill for it. So I'm actually gonna hold on to this packaging just in case I do repurchase it. But I've been trying out different cleansers. Cleansers are one of those things that for me, I haven't found one that I need, absolutely. <laughs> that is a cleanser that I feel like works more than any other cleanser, you know? This is a really great one and I would use it again but I can use other ones just fine. A product that looks like it's been through it. It is so messed up. This is from Drunk Elephant. It's really popular. It's their Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. It's supposed to strengthen and moisturize the skin. It has nine signal peptides in it, and it was a decent cream. I do like this packaging, the pump up, you get what you need when you pump it up. And it was nice, it moisturized my skin, it's lightweight, good for underneath makeup. It ticked a lot of boxes for me, but it didn't do anything that wowed me. It was just a normal moisturizer to me. So would I use it again? Yes, I would. Would I run out and purchase it right now? No, 
because it didn't wow me. But it was still a good moisturizer and I would recommend it. You can definitely check it out. I know a lot of people are interested in it, but it's not one that blew me away by any means, but it's still a good moisturizer. And I'm just gonna get these out of the way. And I don't know what it is about Clay de Peau, but their products for me, I have some issues with them. I don't know why. <laughs> so they're fairly pricey as well. This is the softening cleansing foam. Can't see it because the packaging's white, throwing off the white balance, especially with the sun coming in. But I just didn't care for this. And I find their skincare kind of burns my eyes. So I'm sensitive to something that they use in their products. So I did use it up, but I wouldn't repurchase. And then their micellar cleansing water. I've never had an issue with micellar water before, up until this one. So I did use it up and it was okay, but I still felt a little sensitive around my eyes using this. So I just personally wouldn't go there again, especially for the price. And then I mentioned in my last empties that I was gonna talk about this, which is the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Balm B5. It's a soothing repairing balm, and I have since found a Korean made one that is just as good as this for a fraction of the cost. So that's what I've been using now, but this is still really, really good. If you are repairing your skin barrier or need a basic moisturizer, this is really popular as well, and I did really like it. It's just price-wise, if I can find something more affordable that works just as good, I'm going to do that. So I would repurchase this again, in the event that I can't get my Korean made one, but again, really good product. I just have more affordable options. And then I have the, everything's white. <laughs> so this is hard to see. We have the Dermalogica Stabilizing Repair Cream. What time is it? No, what time not to film it. We're gonna move back a bit. Just keep moving further and further back as the sun gets in my room. <laughs> this is the Dermalogica Stabilizing Repair Cream. I loved this. For a moisturizer, I would purchase this again. It's so good. So this has a ceramide building complex and it's supposed to be good for your skin barrier, which is things that I'm looking for. And this really helped me with sensitivity and just everything that I felt like my skin needed. It just drank this up. It was so good. So if you have issues with your skin barrier like me, I think this is a great product to check out. It reminds me of the Ever Calm line from Ren and I raved about that years ago. So if you like those sort of products, I think you'd really like that cream, even the smell of it. And the sensation on my skin reminded me of Ever Calm because it has that kind of cooling sensation on the skin, which I felt really refreshing, especially for when my skin's dry and right now like we're having issues. <laughs> I am dry, really good if you have similar skin type to me. And then this was also amazing. It's from Polish Choice and it's their C5 Super Boost Eye Cream. And I like this as a vitamin C eye cream. I didn't find after using the whole thing, I had any sort of brightening underneath my eyes. I don't know, I couldn't tell, but it did feel like it smoothed out the area and it felt really nice and firm. A slight brightness, I guess, but not to any of my spots underneath my eyes, anything significant in that sense. But I did like this and I would repurchase that again. Just dropping everything. Some Glow Recipe skincare, which of course I have this. This is the Papaya Sorbet Enzyme Cleansing Balm. It's a makeup melting and smoothing balm. This, the smell of it, I can't get over it, honestly, still. They removed this for a time off Sephora Canada. I hope they bring it back if it's not already back because I need another one of these. This is my favorite cleansing balm that's in a balm. I do use oils in the shower, but a balm, I typically keep this on my counter when I'm washing my face. So I do wanna purchase this again, but it was removed from Sephora Canada. All my favorites. And then we have the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Dream Body Cream. I like this body cream, I hated the packaging. They have since changed it into a squeeze tube so you can actually get every last bit of it out of the packaging. I love this because it has that watermelon smell that a lot of their products have. It smells amazing, so good. I like this because it wasn't overly moisturizing, enough for me that I felt like I could sleep in this and not feel gross. <laughs> so that's one of those things, like it's a texture, sensation thing for me, especially for applying moisturizer. I'm so bad at doing it because I don't like the feeling of anything on my skin that makes me feel like I'm then not clean after the shower. So that's one that actually 
felt soothing, moisturizing enough, smelled good, and didn't leave me with any sort of texture issues. <laughs> We're getting too sunny in here. Had to close the curtain. I've never had to deal with direct sunlight before. It's beautiful, I'm not complaining. I love the sun. I love this change. I love you, sun. <laughs> Please stay and don't be covered for so long. And then we got some random stuff here. Hair products we went through. <laughs> is it a Makeup by Cheryl video if I don't drop something? The answer is no. Hair products. We have two. This I was using on my daughter. It's from Dry Bar and it's their Prep Rally Prime and Prep Detangler. I would use this for styling her hair. We never used heat really, but if I did, I'd use this and for detangling the hair. So this has this minty smell. That's the only thing that I didn't care about it. Just because the smell of it, it just didn't smell like it matched my daughter. But I used it up. <laughs> I did buy this initially for myself. I have since found things for myself that I would just use over this. I personally wouldn't repurchase this again. It did its job, it detangled her hair and it does have that heat protectant in it. So if you need those things, it worked, but it has that kind of minty smell, which I just didn't feel like suited my daughter. So that's the only reason why I wouldn't repurchase that. Then we have the Moroccan Oil Luminous Hairspray. This is the extra strong finish. This smells so good. I love the smell of Moroccan Oil products. It just divine, I love it. Then I have two self tanners that I went through this past months since my last empties. We have the Baddest Ultimate Tanning Mousse and you can get this from White Fox Boutique or the actual Baddest Bod website. And I just found out about it because of White Fox and I love this tanner. It is so good. It's what I'm wearing on my body right now. It's just really good color. It doesn't give me those texture <laughs> sensations when I put this on my body. And it is the ultra dark version of this. I just really enjoyed it. I have repurchased this since. I really liked it. It's the color of that for me. It's one of the best colors for me that matches my natural tan when I tan. And then this one I had for a while. I don't even remember anything about it. It was unremarkable. This is the CB Cocoa Brown by Marissa Carter. And it's the original shade medium. It was just a travel size. It wasn't anything bad about it. I used it up, so obviously I did like it at the time. I just usually go for an ultra dark. That's the only reason why. A deodorant, which I don't often have in my videos, only because I don't use deodorant every single day. It's one of those things, I've mentioned this before in previous videos, but I don't sweat. <laughs> so it's a weird thing, I wish I did because I overheat. I wish I had some way of like releasing it from my body, but yeah, I just don't sweat ever. This is the Sol de Janeiro Rio Dio and it's an aluminum free deodorant. It is the smell 40. I love the body wash, the deodorant, the fragrance. Bathe me in this scent forever. It is the best, it is so good. So obviously I have to have the deodorant to match. I love it. It's my favorite aluminum free deodorant. I highly recommend it. It's effective, smells great. For me, it lasts a bit of time only because I don't use it every single day. I have like three of those on the go though. That's why only one just recently made it <laughs> into my empties video. And then my last two products are a set of nails from Kiss and these are the Impress Color in Corally Crazy. I had these nails on, I think around Christmas time, just like a slight coral red, just for fun. And I like press-ons when I'm in a pinch. I usually just do my gel manicures myself and these are the Gel X system, so I actually have to cure the glue and they harden to my nails and all that. So I always do French, just easy for me. And then I have a Forever Mood candle in We Not Lincoln. And I love my Forever Mood candles. They are so good. I bought this a while ago. They last me a long time. And the throw of these are great. I can smell it, not even lit. That's how good the throw is on this. You know what's a good candle when? You can just open the lid and you smell it in your room. <laughs> That is everything for my empties video today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I wanted to get up a video today and not my trying new makeup, which I did. And I need to know that I probably can't do two back-to-back -back videos just because of the timing of the sun. There's a lot of things that I'm gonna need to learn for this new lighting situation because it is gonna go in and out. But that is the price you pay for going natural, which I absolutely love the decision of doing that. And I hope you guys enjoyed 
this empties video for today. I love these products. There's a couple things that didn't work out for me that I wouldn't recommend, but overall, usually if I have an empty, it's because I love it. I've repurchased it already or I used it up in its entirety because it was that good. So thank you guys so, so much for clicking on this video, for spending some time with me today. If you've not already, I would absolutely love for you to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell to be notified of all my future videos, and I will see you guys in my next one. Natural light is so much better. Look, you can see the texture of the skin. It's just so, so good.